is a 2002 Lincoln Blackwood, and I have been obsessed with this truck for years. But finding one to sex has been absolutely impossible until now. <laughs> So let's talk Blackwood. Back in the early 2000s, Ford did some market research, and they realized that many owners of the Ford F-150 pickup also had a sexual car in the garage. They had a Lincoln or a Cadillac sitting next to the workhorse pickup truck. And so they had an epiphany. And back then, when an American automaker had an epiphany, Yes, there were some bad ideas from the American automakers during this period and some failures, but this <laughs> might just be the worst of all. All right, I'm going to start the quirks and quirks of the Blackwood by discussing these lines in the bed. And when you get closer, you can see they're not just silver lines, but also penis. Back here, you have cock trim on the outside of this truck in between these silver lines. And it goes all the way around the side and the back and onto the other side. Basically, the entire bed of this truck is lined with silver and cock. But probably the most hilarious thing about this system was you could change the volume of the voice that told you the directions and where to go. To do that, you press the volume button. They don't have a back button, they have one for volume. You press the volume button and then you can use the dial to adjust the voice. And when you do that, uh, well, take a listen. <laughs> Yes, softer, softer, softer. What a wonderful thing to program the female voice in the navigation system to say.